It's finally over. Six weeks with crutches and I'm done. Six weeks ago, I decided to go for a jog and I was like, why don't you stop being so fat and lazy all the time? Go for a jog. And I immediately found out why I don't do that. Twisted my ankle, ripped some ligaments, and have been on crutches for the past six weeks. The whole time, people keep asking me, oh my god, why are you on crutches? Surely there's a story behind that. Of course there's not. How did you do it? Were you fighting a bear? I told you to settle down with that pogo stick. No, I went for a jog, I twisted my ankle. Finn. What does anyone expect you to say? There aren't that many ways you can twist an ankle. Like, oh, there was a bank robbery, and uh, I went to go stop him with a high kick to the face, Bruce Lee style. But he grabbed it, twisted like a Jackie Chan movie. I tried to do that thing where you spin in the air, but I had twisted the wrong way because he was Australian and the Coriolis effect. So he twists this way, I twist this way, a sprained ankle. And everyone seems so disappointed when I say that I was running. What could it be? What Peter Pan fantasy are you living in that there's a world of possibility at how this could have happened? Basketball, football, skating, running. Three of those things involve running. How would you twist it when you're playing football? Running? So yeah, I just went for a jog because I felt fat. Then I twisted my ankle because I'm very unathletic now because I'm fat. Then they gave me crutches for the next six weeks. And oh my god, no one talks about how difficult crutches are. And honestly, I was a little loser as a kid. I thought crutches looked fun. I was like, wow, every day is like stilts. You're like the carnival in Quasimodo. I was also the same kid who wanted to have glasses and braces because I was like, wow, they look like adults. Six weeks on crutches and I learned a lot about myself. First off, I am not a survivor. Okay, my mom just beat cancer. Diagnosis, surgery, six weeks of radiation, all with a smile on her face. One week into crutches, I lost all will to live. It's so difficult. It should be an Olympic sport. Like, not even Paralympics, just regular Olympics. I want healthy people. I want Usain Bolt to do the same thing on crutches, then I'll be impressed. Every time I go up and down stairs, it feels like an episode of Ninja Warrior. The world is not set up for people with disabilities. 20 minutes of having crutches, I became the world's biggest disability advocate. I'm calling up my landlord like, why is this building not wheelchair accessible? This is disrespectful to our community. We literally will not stand for this. My building has three steps on the way to the elevator. So guess who can't use a wheelchair? And not just because of that, honestly, I tried a wheelchair at the hospital. My girlfriend was like, hey, I'll push you in the wheelchair. I'm like, excuse me, I am an adult. I can take care of myself. I have have dignity, don't you rob me of this. I get in the wheelchair, one, two, straight into traffic. And made even worse, that no one respects you at all, least of all, Nordic walkers. I have a newfound hatred for Nordic walkers walking around with their sticks all day, mocking me. It's basically the same as if I walked up to a deaf person and mocked their disability, just <laughs> you disrespectful piece of shit. In fact, it's even worse than that because a deaf person can't hear that horrific thing I just did. You know how disrespectful that is when you're struggling on crutches and you see some 40-year-old midlife crisis douchebag walking around with two sticks in his hand doing it for fun? It's like watching someone dress up as Pocahontas for Halloween. Stop stealing from our culture. My disability is not a costume. Why is no one talking about this? Every day we talk about all the minorities. No one cares about the disabled people like me. But I see you, Dornick Walkers, and trust me, now that I'm healthy again, I'm gonna trip the fuck out of you. A nice one, two to the kneecaps, mic drop, walk away. Don't worry, you've got crutches, you can get your cell phone. Welcome to the community. Vendetta! And for anyone who's gonna say that I'm overreacting, I'm not. Reggie, it's been six weeks, you don't know about the community. You don't know what it's like to really have to struggle. Wrong. I have so much empathy. This was one of the most humbling experiences of my life. First off, go on stage in crutches. No one knows how to react to it. They are the most awkward ways to start a show ever. You either get a host that's just way too enthusiastic, or you get hosts like this. <laughs> One night after one of those comedy shows, there was a door for my audience. I don't know the right terminology right now, and this will not age well. He had dwarfism? Does that make him a dwarf? A little person? A leprechaun? I'm not sure. I've only been disabled for six weeks. I haven't gotten that far in the pamphlet. 
But he was really nice, and after the show, he came up and he was talking to me, and at one point, I dropped one of my crutches on accident. He's like, oh, it's cool, I'll get it. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And this little person reaches down on the ground and picks up my crutch, and I was like, that is so humbling. And I had to confront a lot of the biases and, and, and just bad behavior that was ingrained in my life, that all this arrogance of being an able-bodied, tall person, and I see this person who a younger and more naive and less compassionate version of myself would figuratively and literally look down on, and he was helping me because I couldn't do it for myself in my heart like the Grinch grew three sizes that day. And then, instead of giving the crutch back to me, he just ran away. <laughs> Cackling like a Bugs Bunny gremlin. Talk about humbling, because I couldn't do anything about it. I just had to sit back down like, well, that's gone forever. I guess I live here now. This whole thing started because I wanted to get in shape. Then I had to be on crutches for six weeks, which really helped my, my upper body got way more jacked, but it did nothing to get rid of the fat. There was no cardio, it was just the body weight. It's only body weight, but right now my body weight is a heavy rep. Like if you had to bench press me, First off, you'd be my boyfriend, but more importantly, you'd be ripped. Problem is, it did nothing to get rid of the fat, so all it really did is make my tits bigger. First day of good weather in June, go for a jog, twist my ankle, crutches for six weeks, can't run for another four now. It's the end of August, goodbye summer, awesome. And the most infuriating part of all of it is I used to run five miles a day, every day, barefoot, never had an injury. Which brings us to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Nike Zoom Flies. These are the shoes that made me twist my ankle. They're supposed to be running shoes, but like look at these soles. They're so thick and so thin. You just rock forwards. It's like a Skechers shape up for a running shoe. Tired of shoes that offer comfort and stability? Nike Zoom Fly. Have you ever been running and thought, hey, this would be a lot better if I weren't so close to the ground? Nike Zoom Fly. For anyone who's ever wanted to experience the joy of running in platform shoes like a go-go dancer fleeing from her pimp. Nike Zoom Fly. For those who can't afford Yeezys.